Listen, I think we need to talk about the future plans of this goddamn channel. Hello, it's me, Valak, the funny purple VTuber man that uh, you, you might like. I hope you like. I don't know. <laughs> With the new year, uh, I wanted to talk about the future plans for this YouTube channel and honestly just everything outside of just YouTube. I have a lot of ideas planned, a lot of cool things coming, and I want to talk about things both in the past that happened as well as the future. So the first thing I want to talk about is that we reached 30,000 goddamn subscribers on YouTube. We literally hit, hit it the, the night of New Year's Eve and I just want to say thank you so much for 30,000 subscribers. I never would have thought in a million years I'd have a hundred or a thousand or 10,000 and we're at 30,000 subscribers that is insane so thank you to everyone who's watched the content and has supported the channel thus far only 70,000 away from a play button is this the year it could be the year you never know <laughs> but I just want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed to the YouTube channel it's something I've been getting really into lately I, I might do like a draw my life kind of video uh, to kind of celebrate uh, I, I, maybe I'd like some feedback on that because uh, I might be fun it might, it'll take a while to like play it out and all that, but I would wouldn't be opposed to doing a um a draw my life kind of video because eh, that could be interesting and you know it's a cute way to celebrate 30,000 subscribers. I will say I'm gonna touch on it a little bit, but uh, the reason why the channel kind of died around December time is that I had COVID. <laughs> I had COVID and then my editor had finals, so one. He couldn't really edit because he is, you know, busy with finals. You know, I want him to do good in school, so I'd rather he focus on that first. And then I couldn't record anything because my bitch ass was dying. Apologies for the lack of content over the past kind of like month or so. But I will, in case you haven't caught on, every stream I've been doing over on YouTube or on Twitch has also been multi-streamed to YouTube. Twitch allowed it like three months ago or something like that to multi-stream to all platforms and I'm taking advantage of that by streaming on YouTube as well. So if you're a regular YouTube watcher but you've never checked out a YouTube stream and you don't like Twitch, I'll always have a stream post notification on on YouTube. You know, if you want to check out a live stream, it's I'm dual streamed. Uh, they've been going very well. A lot of people like that I dual stream. It's the reception's been very good, so I appreciate if you stop by, give it a shot. I'm really quick about that as well. We have channel memberships. I updated the emojis because we got new emojis, so enjoy those for the comment section or any future live streams that you may want to partake in. So now I got like the cool kind of like oh my god moment out of the way. I wanted to quickly talk about my ideas for future content. This might be a little, a little controversial, I don't know. This might actually like hurt my channel more than help, but it's what I want to do. And I want to avoid doing quote unquote vtuber content and a lot of people are probably wondering like what what does that mean and like the way that i've kind of coined the term is like i see it from all the from people that i watch and and again when i talk about these kind of examples i'm not meeting any ill will towards it it's just some content i particularly enjoy to do but like the vtuber smasher passes guest vtuber buy emoji rate you know, like stream clip compilations of like a horror game or or something like that. Like, you, you, if you've seen a YouTube YouTuber video, you kind of know what I'm talking about. And like, I just don't really like it personally. I've only kind of done it because it's like when learning, or like trying to get my feet back on the ground on YouTube content this late last year. It's just something I could kind of do and. I'll still probably end up doing a couple of them, like for ideas or certain things. But I think I want to change the direction of the channel. The direction, I'm still not 100% sure what I want to do entirely. I, it's hard to describe it. Like the TikToks and the shorts that we made where I was being educational. I like that. But again, I don't want it to be about VTubers because I like VTubing. It's a fun hobby. I don't really like VTubers, like as the as a genre. I don't want to make my whole content be based on VTubers, you know, like I want to do more. And it's hard to kind of take that first step into everything, you know, like I never thought I'd be making content on this kind of level before. So I have to figure out like how I want to approach this. It might take some time. It may not have an actual video for a couple of weeks or so. 
that's proper. But there will be something. I want to try and do like more discussion videos, I think is the phrase I want to talk to, like say it. Kind of like I had a video idea about labeling, label identifications in like communities and whatnot, such as like how we always say, like, oh, I'm, I'm gay, I'm lesbian blah, blah blah and like how i kind of don't conform to the labeling term of certain things like i don't feel like i'm a vtuber because i don't do vtuber things so i don't like the label vtuber but i say it out of simplicity's sake in conversation stuff like that i had an idea talking about like my discussions on that maybe some other things i want to talk about but, like that was like a big one i was like i want to talk about so maybe like some like free formed kind of discussion content but at the same time i also want to do more i still want to do this it's just finding the motivation to do it sometimes and figuring out how to start. It's once once I think once I start, I think I know I'll be able to keep going forward. But I want to do like scripted, kind of like edited challenge things. I don't know how to describe it. My biggest influence would be someone like Alpharad. He's kind of like my biggest inspiration for content because it's like stuff I could see myself doing and enjoying. So it's just a matter of can I make this work being under the affiliation of VTubing. And it's why I want to stray away from VTuber content is because I want to make more broad kind of like general like gaming kind of challenge things with some comedy and scripting and all that sort of stuff. I want to do that, I think. And now that I've kind of got my foot door in content creation overall with my new editor and we kind of understand this a little bit better, I, I, I think I want to try and make a push for it. I have an idea that I'm going to do later this week that I want to see how I can make it work, but it might take some time again. I have to figure out how I want to do this. And, you know, of course, no one's first attempt at something's going to be great. It's probably going to suck. I want to throw stuff around and see what sticks because, yeah, I just don't really like VTuber content. And I made this very clear on my live streams. <laughs> I am not the average VTuber, sort of say. I'm very different from other VTubers, I feel like. So I'm just going to keep being different, I guess, you know? But look forward to something different. And when I do make something different, that's not like VTuber themed, you know? Uh, I really like feedback and opinions on it because uh, that's just kind of how I want to be. For shorts and stuff, I don't know. I might kind of make them more mini stories than like advice, I guess. Cause like, despite my most viewed video being like 62,000 views or something like that, being like how to make a VTuber character, Again, I can only really talk about VTuber advice so much before I become a fucking tips and tricks advice channel and I I don't want that. No thank you. Uh uh. Mm -mm. So I think I'm gonna make them more into stories. I know Mary Weather, who's a friend of mine, does kind of like more story-esque TikToks. So I kind of like that. So maybe we could do that on top of like highlights and all that. But I think for like the general like VTuber advice and VTuber theming, I think it's gonna go towards the drain. I'll still be a VTuber in like this form because I don't want to be a face streamer, a face cam streamer. Here's how I think about it. There's VTuber content, like regular content, and you just happen to be a VTuber. I want to just be, I want to make regular content as a VTuber. I don't want to make VTuber content. That probably sounds so weird and so stupid, but in my head it makes sense. So I have some ideas. I'm figuring it out. I'm very indecisive with a lot of things, so it might take some time, but I'll be sure to figure it out. Lastly, this gets uploaded before Sunday. I'm currently going to be doing a subathon for five days in a row. So I'll kind of merge everything together. I am doing a subathon for five days in a row for about 10 to 12 hours each day, depending on the day, where I'll be live streaming, playing games, uh, doing silly challenges and like redeems and and all that to meet stretch goals for a 2.0 model because uh this year i want to get a 2.0 model and update everything asset wise for my streams and also content so i want to do that um it'll be for five days in a row it's not an uncapped or anything because uh, i have a social life slightly and i have a job so i can't do more than like a couple days i was lucky to get five so we're gonna do five and see how it goes <laughs> i don't know when the 2.0 stuff we finished it hasn't even started being developed yet it will be very soon but it's gonna take a long time to get everything finished so expect that towards the end of the year probably it's gonna take a long time with a lot of hard work from a lot of people i am doing a 2.0 very soon and then the same week on next saturday january the 13th you might have seen it on my live streams or on a few YouTube shorts I made of it. Um, but I have a merch, my first ever merch. Wow, it's a phallic print. You can get yours right now. It'll only be available till January 13th. And if you order it ahead of time, or a little bit ahead of time, and you want me to sign it, 
I'll be doing a live stream signing on that day. So if you want to check it out, it'd be greatly appreciated. It's my first ever merch. But that's going to be kind of it. I don't have a lot to say. Um, it's just mostly like thank you for watching my content over the past, honestly, two years almost. That's crazy. And I want to say thank you for that. Um, we're also very close to 4,000 watch hours, which that's the big goal of this year is to hit that watch hour requirement. We're like almost there, so we should be fine. Thank you for that. I hope that you like the new direction of the channel and, and all that fun stuff. I have some fun ideas. I just, I need time to figure this out and like actually sit down and like do it, you know? I hope to look, I hope to see you on my live streams if you're there. And I hope you look forward to the eventual inevitable 2.0 debut. That'll be a fun one. Yeah, it should be a fun time. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I'm sure it's a huge rambling mess, but I can't really script something like this without it sounding super disingenuous. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video or in the next live stream. So see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.